Vicki Claris. Yes. We're sitting here in the uh, in the food laboratory. It's yes. not like a rat laboratory with like uh, test tubes. It's a place where we get to come for lunch, right? When we test, we're testing our food. That's the lab part of it, I guess. We're going to test our food. So why are we uh, why are we doing this today? Well, uh, in honor of the last shuttle flight, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to have what we call an all-American meal. Originally, all this was planned as a July 4th meal when mm -hmm. the flight was going to be going during July 4th. You should have 4th. known better to plan like that because you <laughs> but, know what happens when you But when now that the launch has slipped there past July 4th, it's right. now called the All-American Meal. Okay. And so we're going to offer an opportunity for the public to see some of what the crew is going to be eating on orbit so that they can eat like the commander if they would like to okay. during the flight. On the 4th of July. So we can kind of, this is like a 4th of July meal that's going to be, be eaten postponed. on like July the 14th or something. <laughs> something like right? that, Ten yes. days after. But that, that's, <laughs> that's, that's okay. okay. All right. So that's what, now, there's some, you said it was an all-American meal. Yes. So we have I, barbecue ahead, brisket. You're right. Yes. But I also see, it says there's barbecue, I don't know if you can see this or, Matt, if you can zoom in, it says Barbie, but there's also some funny language on the bottom yeah. there. That would be Cyrillic. Cyrillic, and, which is Russian. So yes. even though it's an all-American meal, it's translated so the Russians can have it too. Is that what the story exactly. is? Exactly. All right, okay. Our, the foods that we send to ISS, we've been yeah. putting the Cyrillic on there as well in order right. to make it easy for our Russian colleagues. And they do the same for us, right, with their food. We can get it. We, they yes. have, it's trans, so it, the point is it's an international space station. So right. There's multiple languages, even on your food. Yes. So that different crew members from around and, the world can know. And what we eating. actually did this uh, when we first started out working with the Russians, uh, mm -hmm. but now I'm not even sure it's necessary anymore because our crew members, you know, our U.S. crew members yeah. know Russian fairly well and right. vice versa, and so it may, it may not even be necessary anymore. But we're still doing. That's it. That's a nice reminder of the international flight. Sure. Do you ever like? Do you ever like lie about what it is? No. Like you know, all these Americans <laughs> will never eat this uh, salmon, so you know they put down it's uh, you know fudge cake. Yeah. You know, like, like, no. oh, it's a little. St you ever try to do that trick no. anymore? No. But but some of the translations do come out a little interesting. For mm -hmm. instance, yeah. we have a fiesta chicken, and to yeah. and to Americans, fiesta means that's a Southwest style yes. spice, right? Yeah. Okay. When you translate that into Russian, the question comes back from our Russian colleagues: What is a party chicken? <laughs> so, fiesta is a party. A yes. Party chicken. A party chicken. So a little bit gets lost in the translation sometimes. I kind of like the idea of the party chicken better. Yeah. I think I'd I'd be more likely to eat eat the party chicken, chicken. than I would. Okay. <laughs> All right, but but we have today we have oh, we have the barbecue brisket. Barbecue brisket. We have baked beans. Oh yeah. We have southwestern corn, mm -hmm. and we have lemonade. Oh man. And on but, orbit, they're go also going to be adding some fresh items to that, which yeah. are not our space foods. But right. this is the space food items that are going to comprise the all-American meal. Now you mentioned what's going to be their fresh items. Here, well, we're going <laughs> to add some crackers. And we're going to add some brie cheese. Now I don't know why you didn't mention it. And we're yeah. and we're going to <coughs> add some commercial apple pies. Apple pie. All right, now you're talking. Yeah. Because you need apple pie on the Fourth of July. But we don't have a we don't have a shelf stable version of right. that. So you're going to give them fresh apple pie? No, it's a commercial shelf stable apple pie. Okay, we right. just don't have one in our flight system. So these okay. are the items of the flight food that are going to be included. Okay, in so that's going to be a commercial lot like you get it from the grocery store. Right. They're just going to get that apple pie. Right. And uh, of course we can't mention which one it is because this is the government we're not allowed to do any advertising. But I'm sure it's going to be a good apple pie. Yes. Okay. All right, so that's what they're going to that's what they're going to have uh -huh. on, uh, on for their 4th of July, their belated 4th of July. belated 4th of July meal, correct. And this is the last shuttle flight. Yes, it is. So this is, this is kind of historic. And, and one thing I noticed here on, on the silverware that we have here, I don't know, Matt, if you can see that, the silverware. It's engraved. Look, look, you, you, go, go, go right in there. See, it's engraved there. It says shuttle on it, mm -hmm. right? So what are we going to do? We're going to keep the silverware around, or are we going to... What's going to happen to yeah, it? Yeah, we're going to keep it around. We also have quite a few sets that were not used for shuttle that we're going to be flying to station for our crew members to use and as it's well. It's going to say shuttle on it? Yeah, it's going to sh say shuttle on it because it's already been engraved that way. I, I thought it was going to get a good deal on some shuttle silverware here is what I thought it was going <laughs> yeah. to be. But you're still going to be using it to fly, to fly it in space. It's right. still uh, space stuff. Have you tried this stuff? Am I the only one that gets to eat? Yeah. There's a whole crowd of people who are the only one that gets to eat. <laughs> Of course, in space, this will all be, if we ate it like this, it'll all be floating around. Mm. <laughs> yeah, on orbit, they'll be eating it out of the, out of the packages that mm. you see here.
as usual, that is delicious. So I'm glad you like it. This, uh, whose idea was it to do this, to get this, uh, to do this for these guys? Was this the Food Lab came up with this Well, idea? actually, uh, Sandy Magnus, mm. uh, I believe, was the originator of the idea because uh, as you're probably aware, when shuttles have gone and docked with station, mm -hmm. they usually plan some kind of joint meal. Ah. And so Sandy, being a member of the 135 crew, yeah. she was trying to think of a joint meal to plan. And because oh, of July nice. 4th, she came up with the idea for a July 4th meal. Yeah. And that's, that's where this originated. Okay. And Sandy has, has been a long duration crew member yes. as well, so she's, she's probably thinking that way. Right. But those other guys are probably like, oh, we don't care what we eat. <laughs> but you know, there's, Sandy's probably thinking ahead there about. And what she's Ford well aware, said. having spent long duration on station, she's well aware of the psychological benefit to yes. something special like this right. on orbit. And that's one of the important things about food, mm -hmm. right? It's not just to nourish you. I mean, you don't take care of that and make sure that we have the right nourishment, right? Mm -hmm. We can't just eat fudge cake the whole time. Right. We've tried it, they don't let you. Right, you have, you have, to, you have to have a balanced meal when Correct. you're up there. But it's also the, the comfort, it's like kind of nice to, mm -hmm. it makes it remind you of home, it's soothing, mm -hmm. right? You, you get yes. much of like this, a psychological thing. The psychological aspect of food has become a lot more predominant now that we've gone to long duration flight. I mean, you know, obviously I came to work here early in the shuttle program. Yeah when all we were doing was very short duration flights mm -hmm. and the psychological aspect of food was not they didn't care yeah they didn't care it's like can, a camping a jar, trip. a jar of peanut butter and a loaf of bread or right. whatever they'd be fine but as as we you know trans trans or as we went into yeah. near the right. phase one program and now into our six month stays on iss the psychological of importance of food to the crew members has become uh, quickly, very obvious to them, yeah. and uh, that was something. You know, it was an education for the crew members to learn the psychological importance of the food, yeah. and then we had to educate management of the psychological yeah. importance of the food as well, so yeah. that they could be sure that the food gets there on time, that they get their special request, and yeah. things like that. That's no, very important for morale and getting your job done. Mm -hmm. It's you know, we do these training exercises where we go out on the a National Outdoor Leadership School or Survival Training. Well, not survival, survival Training, you don't have food, but when you go on some of these uh, training trips we go on, you're out there for a, more than a few days, you start realizing the importance of morale. Uh, and, and food really impacts morale, having something that you enjoy eating, having a meal together. Uh, that is, is very, very important. That's what we find even on our, on our shuttle flights that are a couple of weeks, it's, uh, it's important and it, to help you get your job done, mm -hmm. making sure you have stuff that you that you like, that you enjoy, it kind of connects you with, with the earth, you know, mm -hmm. and what you're important. When I was a kid, we used to think that astronauts were eating out of uh, tubes, and I right. guess they did, did. back in the day. They did in the Apollo Back days. in the day, they did, They actually yes. did eat out of food. And at some point, we changed from the tubes mm -hmm. to regular food. Did that happen during the shuttle program? Then? Well, it happened much more extensively during shuttle. It actually okay. started occurring during Apollo and Skylab. Um, of course, Mercury and Gemini early on were mm -hmm. exclusively the cubes and the tubes. Okay. Um, but slowly over time, it evolved. And as we went into shuttle, um, you know, it, we expanded the menu. Uh, yeah. But then when long duration space flight came along, we yeah. really expanded the food list. And we're up to about 180 different foods and beverages on the U.S. side on now. On the U.S. side. Mm -hmm. Now, that doesn't include any of the Russian, Japanese no. stuff, because there's a lot of good stuff over there, too, Yeah, isn't they it? have some, they have quite a bit of products yeah. as well, so. Have you got the Italians in the act? You know, um, Italy has some pretty good food. Yeah. Have you gotten the Italians in on the act? That they, well, uh, so, not no? so much yet. They have maybe just for some fresh items on a single okay. flight, but we haven't really gotten them into the act of providing like we have the French items and some German items that Ooh. are provided on a routine basis. Okay. But the, fr the Italians like What do you have are, from the French and the Germans? What do you uh, well, the French actually have their canned yeah. uh, entrees. Wow. And uh, actually, they were designed uh, by a chef. And so right. they're, quite, chef. they're quite good. It's pretty fancy pan stuff. Yeah. Yeah. This is, this is look, look how good that plate looks right there. Right, that is delicious. That make anyone want to be an astronaut, right? <laughs> right. So if people want to enjoy this at home, Mm -hmm. Is there any way they can get this for their own 4th of July celebration at home? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to post the formulations of these flight food items. Mm -hmm. 
and um, then if they want to try formulations yeah is that well, a fancy way of saying recipe we don't a, have recipes here at NASA it, it, we no cookbook we have a formula book there's gonna be a textbook of, well formulations are a little bit different <laughs> than recipes but uh, because usually formulations are designed to make many many servings of an item but I think we um, want to keep that quiet that the, the, we're not we're not we're not using recipes the crew finally <laughs> this is a formula for your for your I'm glad I didn't know that when I was in space that you were using formula Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. So they. Uh, so we so are going to post some of the right. formulations if they would like to, uh, okay. to reproduce those at home. Okay, and they're easy to cook. They really easy. Um, well, our processing is a little bit different because we don't yeah. have refrigerators and freezers for yeah. food, and so um, our food has to be made shelf stable, meaning that right. it can be at room temperature right. for long periods of time. Yeah. And so that's actually a little more challenging than just cooking something to serve it immediately at home, um, because right. you have to go through a more extensive process to make it shelf stable. Right, and for us as, as astronauts, you know, that one of the best things about the food is not only that it tastes good, but it's easy to cook. Right. Because right? we get it in this form, in this package, and oh, we, oh, let's have some grilled chicken. We throw it in the oven, cut it open, and it's delicious. Right. Right, well, we don't have to mix ingredients. I think if we want to add a little salt or right. spices, we can do that. So you take care of all of that here. Right. And you know what I'm wondering? Do we really want to know what's inside? You know, sometimes <laughs> you're better off, because, oh, you get the package here. Okay, what do we got here? We got corn. We're going to eat the corn. When you start talking about the formulations, yeah, are we gonna get? Would I? Would we be freaked out if we looked at what that is? No. You sure? Yes. You know, are you trying to hide stuff in there? Like my mom, you know, my mom used to, she would she would make a chocolate chip cookie supposedly, uh -huh. but she'd make them like with oatmeal and raisins and stuff. Mixing. To make them healthier. I guess. Are yeah. you doing that same thing now? So you mixing raisins in in our brisket well, well, or anything like that? Well, we aren't really doing that, but I can say we are striving to reduce the sodium in our foods to try to make them healthier for our crew members. That sounds like a good idea. Yes. All right. All right. Well, this is, so if you want to eat this at, at home, mm -hmm. they can get it. Where, what's the website they can, people can go to to, to uh, have an astronaut uh, 4th of July? NASA.gov. NASA, NASA, they can go to NASA.gov NASA.gov and look for menu formulations. Okay. So they can go to NASA. You can go to NASA.gov and look under menu formulations. Is that right? Yeah. Menu formulations, <laughs> and you can find out what we have here, and you can have your own space-themed 4th of July. What could be any better? That's right. All right. Well, Vicki, thanks very much for, uh, You're welcome. for feeding me, and uh, I think I'm going to stay here for lunch and finish this up. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is really good.